Hello beautiful, welcome to the United Way. Manchester United has become the first team in the history of football to beat its opponent, in this case Arsenal, twice in a day in the game. So Manchester United won 2-0 in the pitch and also on penalties, 5 goals to 3. Yeah, so uh, in this video I just want to tell you guys something which maybe you guys didn't take note, but I want to tell you guys what Ten Hag has changed in this video, my tactical review. There are certain things that have changed in Manchester United, which uh, hopefully, which I guess uh, most of you might have taken note of it, is that um, the United team uh, is playing a bit different from previous uh, seasons. Look, what do I mean by this? I can tell you guys very clearly that uh, Manchester United will play different this season in most of the games, not all, but most of the games. Please make sure to click a like on the video if you're happy with the victory. If you're happy with that victory, click the like on the video. Get involved, check our contents. We upload videos every day. Well, you're welcome to be part of our community here. Manchester United has played three games, three preparation games, three goals, three games, three victories, and haven't considered any goal. That is something you need to take in, in note. I know it's a friendly, I know players are diving into others, but I know it's going out keeping yourself fit. But what I know again is that United is playing differently. If you notice the circulation of the ball, it's a bit like what Van Gaal used to do, but quicker. I can tell you that, I can bet with you that Ten Hag has made it clear. If you heard Ten Hag interview, he talked about quick transition. He, I, I'm sure he has put that very clear in the, in the ears of all our players. I'll talk about players who impress me a lot, but uh, I need to say this clear. There are certain players which I know they need to go on loan. There are certain players which I, my view is, I think they have to stay. Talking about the players who have to stay is, is, is uh, very simple. I don't know if you guys watched it, the same thing which I did, but I was so impressed again by Kobe Mirinu. I think this little kid, he is not tearing the world apart, but what he's doing is he's showing he's showing some courage as a player. He's showing some potential in Manchester United. I think if he's put his head down, he works with Ten Hag, he has a very great future. I've said this before in, on my videos, but I'm so impressed about with this young guy. What I like with Kobe Mueno's football is very simple, is that he is a very direct player. He... He knows when to accelerate, he knows when to get, to be hard. I mean, for an 18-year-old young guy who was um, uh, a kid here in United, I am so impressed by the way he operates in the midfield. I think his distribution, his passing, his positioning, he, is a, he could be maybe some would say an understudy, for Casemiro, but I don't think an understudy, but I think is someone who will benefit a lot staying in Manchester United. It will be a very good decision to keep Kobe Moen in Manchester United. Tell me what you think below, guys. Uh, yeah, so another player which I think was very good, I think Jason Sancho. Sancho, not the goal. I'm not the guy who look at goals when in preseason. I'm the guy who look at your physical fitness, your positioning, your ambitions, your team attitude. We have started properly. I know this is not the Premier League. I know it's not a Premier League, but we have to build that team spirit. Football at the highest level is played most with the brain. Physicality, every team will be fit. Most teams will be fit when the season starts. So that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. I love the fact that Sancho looks a bit fit. He's kind of, he's very collective, direct, and um, I think the goal he scored, you can see the sprint, you can see Sancho has walked during the preseason. I think Sancho really wants to impress the, the football world in general this season. Tell me what you think below. What do you think about Sancho? I think Sancho was good, was very good today, but what I noticed was his fitness. He is not 100%. You can see his involvement and fitness. If this young lad, Sancho, can focus on his game this season, forget about the PR, I think he'll be called back here in the English national team. Another 
player which uh, I might say I, I want uh, might talk about is our captain Bruno I love the way he composes himself I understand that uh, Bruno is a player which most of you is someone who cannot um, therefore we cannot introduce to you I think he scored a very good goal his distribution is taking his, his leadership the way he tried to conduct himself in, in the pitch this is the first time I know this is a friendly but it's the first time he has come in as a real character captain for Manchester United yeah so I think Bruno also had a good game I'm not talking about the goals if I had to give a man of man of the match for the first half because we had two teams who played today for the first half is for me is Kobe Bueno I am so impressed with this young guy because and why did I give him I think for an 18 year old boy who watches top pros playing in his team and get and he's assimilating in the system is something to be very proud of guys please if you're watching till now smash a like on that video for Kobe Mwenye I think he had a very good game Talking about the team in general, as I said, I love the fact, I love the circulation of Manchester United. I love the way the team circulates the ball. Uh, it's very important. Tom Heaton, I won't, I know he won. He knows he won't be the first goalkeeper, but he was very good. The double save he did, and I mean he's a he's um he's a good understudy for any goalkeeper who will be the first. Tom Heaton is a very good goalkeeper. I can tell you that. You can see that. And um, what did we notice again? We played with the false nine, which is very unusual. <laughs> Uh, Sancho was playing the false night in the first half and uh, yeah so we, we but in the first half we had two halves first half well, you see that drop off is something United we are working off because the first half you can understand why Ten Hag doesn't put Casemiro in the, the team if he did put Casemiro in the team and come with Kobe Mueno playing with players like what we had here Magwe very slow he would have been I think he the lineup was more he was more of, uh, searching for a balance between the two sides the first and the second half so uh, I think he did that very smartly smart I think in the second half by the way, I don't know what's going on with Diallo. I think he has a, an ankle injury. Hopefully, it's not serious. I'm talking about Diallo, who left the pitch and uh, uh, in the second half. Hopefully, it's not a serious thing. The way Manchester United will play this season, I think you can see all the facts. Show all the signs are showing that Manchester United will be playing more a high line. Why do I say this? Because the way we start our our, our build up play, the way we do. Uh, we release the ball the way we do we, we do our transition is quite is quicker than what we are used to in Manchester United if you have watched a lot of modern games I just hope we keep up working on that because that is what I want to see United can win games we can we can tie, we can win games but I want 7% of our games this season to be um, should be a game which we dominated basically so guys please click that like button if you like the video if you clear if you agree with what I say like that video if you disagree with what I say please click like the video because it, Manchester United has been three games without considering a goal and if a United fan you, that rings the bell it's a good sign and uh, talking about players um, Rashford who came in most of these players are finding their fitness f much fitness not it's not that they are not fit but that much fitness playing with teammates and you know getting that cohesion in the pitch um, yeah and um, what can I say so as I said uh, Manchester United we need a lot to to work on I think the next team we're playing again uh, a very late I mean Brixton or what was the name of the team I think we should do that ourselves give our younger players to play that game but I am very sure that the game against Real Madrid will put a top a very tight team to see how far we have developed and what we can improve I think the next game we play we need to get involved we need to get our goalkeeper on Nana involved it's a it's not it wouldn't be the pressure will be less that will be a good time to assimilate him with the team tell me what you think guys very good game for me I think I <laughs> Arsenal is a good team they practice very good football so there's nothing negative for me to talk about nice and all it's just that we were lucky we put our goals we were very direct <laughs> why us now we're more about playing also building up their tactics so my so my opinion was that manchester united deserved to win the game winning for me in preseason is not important but uh, i am more impressed by the game the way we played uh, the way we circulated the ball we played in a very macho manner
so uh, that's where I am but anyway guys thanks for the video smash a like on the video if you like I said it's the third time I'm saying that Manchester United has just beaten Arsenal twice in a game a day in both in penalties and also in the page tell me what you think below tell me who your man of the match was and uh, yeah talk to you soon